Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts. Um, we finished up Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I don't know what... I don't quite understand what that did. Hmm. Read the book. Something is stuck inside. Mithril shard. Oh! Is that what the teddy was for? But moving it over here awakens this clock. Oh, moving the clock opens up a hole. So I kind of went, like, the. I, I actually didn't stop recording after the uh, previous episode because I figured I'd round this stuff up. I knew that the next ep- or the- I knew episode four was going to be long. Specifically because, uh, well, actually, hold on. That flower looks suspicious. I knew that episode four was going to be long. Oh, I guess the flower isn't suspicious. I knew that episode four was going to be long, so I kind of cut it off before I did, like, some final exploration. So, um... I'm going to go about doing that little bit of final exploration now. S something about this flower? Oh! It dropped some stuff. Thank you kindly. Can I do anything else with the teddy? Alright. Tea party garden. Oh, is this gonna... Yes! Are these Dalmatians? No, dark matter. I have no idea what the dark matter does. Look, but look, there's so many... I don't know how I'm gonna reach that. Though, I just found that secret right now, so I kind of wonder, like, how many secrets have I... have I missed out on? Camping set! Woo! Wasn't there a white one there? Or is this connected somewhere else? There were there were two flowers in the one that I Oh, you know what? I'm getting that confused with somewhere else. And let's leave. Trophy earned. The rabbit hole. Alright, so that's a three star. That's a two star. Okay, so I guess I have to go back here first to get to the two star one. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in the next zone. Leon's probably at the underground cavern. He trains there often. You know, the channel in the alleyway is connected to the cavern. What? I decided to stop by in Traverse Town because I I remember that I've um found some some of the Dalmatians, so I kinda wanted to like see them. Oh, Heartless came back. Also, the music here is different. Max MP learned something? I learned something. What did I learn? Ripple Drive. Unleash powerful finishing combo attacks upon surrounding enemies. Attack power is relative to max MP value. Okay. I don't have enough to equip that, and I really, really like the ability to, like, collect my, um, treasure magnet thing. Like, I'm not taking that off. That's almost useful, like, as a battle thing, because... If I'm trying to, like, grab health orbs, I really like that it, it, uh, just sucks up that, the little green orbies. A protect chain! Oh, okay. Equip, equip that on to Donald. Wait, what's Ifrit's horn? Reduces fire damage by 20% and raises max HP and defense. It's 
that's better than anything. Um, I guess I'll give that to Donald. Like, anything else that he can get is better than nothing. How much did that raise my max AP by? By one. Well, one is better than none. Um... Stun impact is pretty sweet, though, with its 30% chance of unleashing. But maybe Ripple Drive is stronger? Maybe... Because it's guaranteed, right? Because it... It doesn't sound like it's not a guarantee. So, maybe... Like, I'm not- I'm not gonna be the type of person who's like, well, I'm not gonna try something out. I'm not that stubborn. I'll give things a try. Cause I- I don't know exactly- Oh, look at the puppies! Look at the puppies! There's a couple of them. There's a puppy. Oh, there's two puppies down there. Puppies! Yay, I found some for you guys. I guess they don't give you anything until you've collected all the puppies. They were just gonna be like, Yeah, you got some puppies. Good job. That is pretty good. I think I think it's because it's guaranteed that it makes it better than that stun one. I'm already- I'm already liking that. I think if the stun one was guaranteed, I probably would like it more. Another protect chain! Man, I was totally gonna buy these, but if it just wanted to give them to me for free, that's sweet. Alright, well, I've investigated everything here. I guess it's off to the next world. Olympus Coliseum. happens if it goes out? Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Huh. I guess I can't put it out. What a strange question. Mega potion. Wait, wait, wait. Did I see? Yeah, I did. Saw blue mark. Mithril shard. What are all these mithril shards for? Oh, there's a white one here. Still can't interact with it. Another blue one. Another mithril shard. Oh, Dalmatians! 22, 23, and 24! Is there a chest here? Oh. I feel like I've explored this pretty good. Yellow one. Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. <laughs> what? Clean up things pronto. I've got my hands full preparing for the games. That should be a snap for you.
weighs a ton. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little? Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. <laughs> yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this, you can't cause yourself. <laughs> the hero! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. What am I gonna fight? <laughs> the trial is tough. You got what it takes. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, kids, see what. Let's see what you've got. Rules are simple. Bust all the barrels within the time limit. Ready? Go. Oh. Not bad for a beginner, that is. Oh, crap. Oh no. Where am I missing one? Oh. Oh man. See ya. Fire. <laughs> Oops. You know, you ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. <laughs> Come on. Goofy. <laughs> Want to be a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. <gasps> Thunder. Yeah. Thank you. I I have places I need to go with that spell. I guess I won't go right now, but having it's nice. Sorry, I can't just let you into the games just yet, but I can train you for them. Um, I guess let's do advanced. You gotta remember, you gotta train to win. All right. I think I've already. Oh no, is it this again? I'm ready for the games. You don't get it, do you? No entry pass for you. Okay. Well, what do I do then? Uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, fuzzboy. Oh, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. 
A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Obtained an entry pass. Well, I mean, let's go for it. <laughs> Coming to the games now? Well, I guess so. We gotta start with preliminaries. Ready for the preliminaries? Yeah, let's go! Some real weirdos sign up for the games. Better watch yourself. I gave up on that voice, didn't I? <laughs> okay. What's Thunder like? There we go. You're no heroes yet, but you ain't doing bad. Lucky you came to me for coaching. Hi, Cloud. <laughs> Something tells me he'll be a tough one to beat. Who knows, maybe you'll end up facing him. Sinisters. Okay. Okay, enough. That's the power of the Keyblade. Say, you're better than I thought, kid. Wish he was here to see this. Who? Hercules. He's a hero if there ever was one. Too bad he's off visiting his father. Match for Shadow Platoon. Okay, the bad thing is, is I'm running out of magic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely dodge. Oh, crap. I don't think that counts as a death. I'm not going to count that as the death. You know what? I wonder if I could have used items in there or if items were restricted. I don't think there's anything else I can do though. I think I have to do this place. So basically it's it's honestly get better. Is your next opponent, okay? I don't blow it, just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says. I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! 
I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him. Come on. Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it. I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiff's bag home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> Big one. Oh god. Just just put me out of my misery now. Okay. Flory can take on this big guy. Jump at me. Oh, crap. There we go. Jump. There we go. That's the power of the Keyblade. Cloud. Okay. What the? That's the best you can do. See ya. Fire. What the? I don't think you can win this fight. Or if you can, I'm not talented enough. Okay. I tried.
Phew, that was close. It was Cerberus, the guardian of the underworld. Herc should be able to handle him. And again, maybe not. This doesn't look good. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad that I did not lose all of my potions. Okay, you're not entering the arena, are you? This ain't just some match. This is for real. I'm not afraid. You can decide if I'm hero material or not. Careful, kid. Okay. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Attack! Oh, okay. It it does fireball spitting. Maybe it doesn't like lizard. Maybe it doesn't like thunder. only get one bite in. That was a clear telegraph move. Oh. Oh no, it's that purple mist again. Oh. Purple mist combined with fireballs. Alright. We'll get tired of this eventually. No! Not the purple mist! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Donald. again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was way too close. 
Oh, it's done. I did it. Inferno band. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes and confer upon the full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further, hey, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay, we'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Right? <laughs> Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. Obtained hero license. You all right? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. Sora learns Sonic Blade. Sonic Blade. Slash an enemy while rushing past. Select follow-up attack at the right time for a combo. Well, I really like dodge roll and I'm enjoying ripple drive quite a bit. But maybe this'll be... This'll be... Okay. You know what? I said I would give it a try, so... I'll equip that and we'll see how it goes. I definitely don't want to give up my treasure magnet or um, my dodge roll. Dodge roll, like, yo, <laughs> this is important. I, I don't care if you guys think I should equip the other thing in conjunction. Ripple drive and sonic, whatever. I'm, I'm keeping dodge roll. It's important. <laughs> and because I, I have to equip the, that amount. That was ominous. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriated. He makes me crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Be worried about it. All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Huh? Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content.
Okay. Oh, no. Do I want to train with barrels? Absolutely not. Wow, this was actually quite a... I don't know if it'll be short once I finish editing it, but it is pretty short. So I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in me reading the journal, then, you know, enjoy the journal. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Alright, Olympus Coliseum. Sora, Donald, and Goofy fought brilliantly to advance to the finals. Their opponent was Cloud, who was hired by Hades to get rid of Sora and company. When Hades unleashed Cerberus during the match, Hercules entered the arena and took him on single-handedly. In the end, Sora and his friends helped Hercules defeat Cerberus. Phil was impressed by their feat and dubbed Sora, Donald, and Goofy Jr. heroes. Fight in other tournaments, continue your journey to become a true hero. Mickey Mouse, King of Disney Castle. He set out to learn more about the darkness and left instructions for Donald and Goofy to find and follow the Key Bearer. No one knows where King Mickey is now, but they are determined to find him. He made his debut in Steamboat Willie, 1928. Minnie Mouse, Queen of Disney Castle, ruling in Mickey's absence. I, Jiminy Cricket, am accompanying Donald and Goofy as the royal chronicler at her request. Queen Minnie is more concerned than anyone about the king's disappearance. Minnie made her screen debut in Steamboat Willie, 1928. Daisy Duck. Donald's sweetheart. She's helping Minnie while the others look for King Mickey. She has Donald under her thumb and does a good job of keeping him in line. She ap originally appeared as Daisy in Mr. Duck Steps Out, 1940. Pluto, Mickey's faithful dog. Pluto is more than a pet. He and Mickey are bound by strong ties of loyalty. Pluto set out with the others to find his master. Will that famous news of his lead to him, lead him to Mickey? Pluto originally appeared in The Chain Gang, 1930. Chip, one of the kingdom's specialists, helps maintain the gummy ship, which can travel to any destination. Chip is more serious and diligent than his easygoing, playful partner, Dale. Chip and Dale's first appearance was in Private Pluto, 1943. Dale, one of the king's specialists, helps maintain the gummy ship which can travel to any destination. Compared to the more serious Chip, he takes a happy-go-lucky approach to life. Chip and Dale's first appearance was in Private Pluto, 1943, obviously. Alright, let's jump to the people we met here. Cloud. Cloud. A fighter hired by Hades to compete in the Colosseum. Despite his association with Hades, his heart remains untouched by the Heartless. Cloud keeps very much to himself, which makes him something of an enigma. What is he seeking? Final Fantasy VII. Guess I'll go to Sid. Sid, owner of the accessory shop in Traverse Town. A highly skilled engineer and first-rate pilot. When the Heartless invaded his world, he escaped to Traverse Town on a gummy ship he built for himself. He's an expert on gummy ships. Final Fantasy VII. And, uh... Oh my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> Alice, a girl who fell down a rabbit hole in Wonderland. She often daydreams and is naturally curious. Falsely accused of trying to steal the queen's heart, she was given an unfair trial and falsely convicted. She fell down a rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland, 1951. I'll leave some of those for later, and let's go ahead and look at the boss fights that we had here. Wait, surely Cerberus counts as one? Is it not? Oh, maybe he's... Oh, he's in here. Cerberus. Guardian of the entrance to the underworld and Hades' loyal servant. Herc defeated him once, but Hades brought him back to fight Sora and his friends. He first stood watch for Hades in Hercules, 1997. And I guess Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> That's me, the cricket who keeps Pinocchio on the straight and narrow. I'm on the quest as the royal chronicler. Look for me in Pinocchio, 1940. And with that, so, and with that, I think we can close out this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! I have often dreamed of a far-off place Where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me Where the crowds will cheer when they see my face And a voice keeps saying 
This is where I'm meant to be. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel.